those fucking heels on and work it, girl. Let that mirror show you what you're doing. Put that fucking dress on and work it, kind of vicious, like somebody taking pictures. Shut it down. Hey, babes. So. We are back with another vlog on my vlog channel and this one is going to be a hair tutorial because I need to do something with my hair. I've been posting, posting, posting. If anyone in Vegas braids, someone braid my hair in Vegas, looking for a braider in Vegas to no avail. Um, they're either unresponsive or they reply, you know, in four day intervals or whatever. I just don't have the time. Um, so I'm not going to do the style I wanted done, but I'm going to do something that I'm capable of with these long nails. If all my nails were like these, I'd be able to do any style I want, but with these long nails, I'm limited, okay? So I'm going to do a cute little style. I'm going to do this one today. Um, she has like some knotless and then some cute rubber band style in the front. I'm not going to do as many knotless braids. I'm going to do like only three rows. Um... But yeah, this is easy for me, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So that's the one we'll be doing tonight. Um, so everything I need, I already have out, like my combs, brushes, you know, um, hair clips, eco hair gel is what I use. And instead of black rubber bands, I'm gonna do white in the front because I think it'll be a cute little, cute little thing. And yeah, that's basically it. It's just parting, gelling, and rubber bands. Okay, first things first, I comb it out with a wide tooth comb. Um, I think I have like maybe a little bit of hairspray in it from like two days ago. Um, but when I do hairstyles, I would rather it not be super clean because it's just easier for me to work with it. If you know, you know. If you don't understand, you just don't understand. But um, I feel like it's a little easier that way. Um, and the reason I like to do so many braided and natural hairstyles is because I get to oil my scalp, okay? I have a more drier scalp. I have very fine hair. So the more oils I can put in it, the better and the longer it'll grow. Um, so for the next two weeks when I have the style and I get to oil my scalp the entire time. We want that, we want that. So I'm just gonna comb out my hair and then start the parts. So she's combed out, okay? You always use a wide tooth comb on curly hair. And then we start the parts. So, um, for the front and the rubber band section, oh, she's getting so long. Um, I'm gonna take it to about here so that, you know, it's visible in the front. That's what we want. Um, and for cleaner parts, obviously put that hair gel on that part and then repart it with your, but that's pretty clean, I'm not gonna lie, um, with your smaller comb. But that one was really good, so we don't have to for this one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So front is parted. Perfect. And I like mine to be like absolutely out the way. So just any back hairs. Oopsie. Move that up. Okay, now she's completely out the way. So the rest is going to be the knot list. I'm only doing like three rows. So I really don't want to do too many. I'm tired. <laughs> so let me do these parts and then I'll show you them. Okay, so the back is sectioned off in three parts and I'll try to show you in the video. Um, so the very first one, like I said, I want big sections. It's not too big. Um, the second one, obviously, again, not too big. And then the third, it's kind of hard to see, but it's up there. <laughs> so this way, when I'm braiding and I'm done with the section, boom, move on to the next, easy peasy. And I recommend this, um, especially for the beginners, just separate it in the beginning. If you do part by part by part, you might, you know, have a few little flyaways or whatever. So this is just easier. Um, I recommend this. So I am also adding some braiding here. I think this is like 30 inch. Don't ask me the brand. Um, yeah, it's a cool quality. Not bad, not good, whatever. Um, and I'm only adding a tiny bit just to add a little bit of length so that they're all 
around the same length and it's not crazy wonky. Um, so yeah, let's let's start. So for the braided parts, I'm gonna just use a little mirror to my best abilities. And I'm only doing three braids, um, three braids for the first row. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm not doing many of these uh, knotless. So, thankfully, it won't take me too long. And then I just keep using, um, and sometimes I even put my hair in my mouth. Mm-hmm. Let me show you. Also, I already have the pieces I want for each braid already separated from the braiding here. Um, so we're ready to go, you know, and that's that's what I mean when I when I say prepare. <laughs> okay, ladies. So the first braids piece is ready right here on my lap. And then you just since these are knotless. You take a little bit of hair gel, whatever hair, hair gel you want to use. Use as much as you think you need for your hair texture. Um, my hair gets really frizzy and curly, so I try to use not too much because it'll curl up. Um, brush it through. Okay. And then you just start the braid. And then you feed that hair into your braid. And that's why it's called knotless, okay? Okay. So how I do it is I separate three pieces, just the, you know, normal old school way. And I grab it as tight as I can so that it is very neat, okay? If you don't know how to do regular cornrows, there are plenty, plenty of videos on YouTube about it. Um, I cannot be the one to teach you, babe. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have that much time on my hands. But um, I will talk you through the process, okay? Now, we did about two or three little, you know, thingies or whatever. So, grab that braiding hair and just slowly feed it in. You know, um, it's like kind of hard sometimes to do it when you can't see it. And that's why I do it off the phone mostly. Um, but... If it makes it easier, use multiple mirrors. All right, we're feeding the hair in. And when you feed that hair in, push it up as far as you can to the last spot you were braiding your real hair. If that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'll show you what it looks like in a second. You just want it to look as neat as possible. You don't want it to look bulky, okay? Now, let me show y'all something. So, when you start going down the braid, and it's still three pieces, you'll have, like, some thinner pieces. So, you take hair from the thickest piece, and you start to divide so that all the pieces are even by the time you get to the end, you know? And as you keep going, you want the braid to be really neat, so keep adding hair gel. Put some hair gel on your finger, and keep braiding down until you get to the end. So for tonight, I am doing rubber bands. However, in the morning, I will be boiling some hot water. If you don't know that, you boil hot water, um, you dip the braiding hair in the hot water, and it seals the end so you don't have to wear rubber bands because rubber bands aren't that cute. <laughs> so I'll be doing that in the morning, but I want them to stay until then, so rubber bands on the end tonight. Um, so let me show you this first braid. And don't be discouraged if your first braid, like I said, is just okay, because now that you have the oomph, the rest of them will be perfect, okay? So let me show you. If you look close enough, she's not perfect, right? Like she's sitting up a little bit. She's kind of, you know, look, this piece done snuck in. I'll definitely fix that off camera. <laughs> but yeah, so don't be discouraged because once you find that movement, 
it's kind of bothering me now <laughs> once you find that movement though the rest will be boom 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 so you know how to do it now i'm going to do this first row i'll come back so you can see them and then we'll get to the front part okay but i'm not going to record every braid i'm sorry <laughs> but yeah you know <laughs> so the first row is done and i'm about to speed through the 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 next two because it's taking me forever so let me just show y'all so we went back and fixed that first one obviously so this is the first row okay listen not perfect but worth it okay so in the next row we'll do four and then i'm not sure how many i'll do on the top row but you get the gist okay i didn't want too many not as many as that picture i showed you um because i'm not trying to stay up until 2 a.m but i think all together they will be so cute and such a cute little hairstyle for like two weeks you know um so yeah let me finish those two rows and then we move on to the rubber bands all right y'all all three rows are done um the parts perfect the width okay some are thicker than others but as a whole they're looking very much cute okay this is what i was going for not too many you feel me just you know a little cute two week little hairstyle so hopefully that was a good angle <laughs> anyways um i love them by the way so with four clips in my damn head we move on to the front show so con contrary to belief, my bad, um, the rubber band stuff is pretty easy. It's literally just connecting hair with rubber bands. Um, obviously, I'm going to show you how I do that. I have my white rubber bands from Amazon. Um, I am going to do a middle part because your girl looks best with a middle part. I could do a cute little, you know, side in it, but then let's not. Okay, it's what time is it? 12 30 yeah i'm trying to be in the bed by 1 30 okay we got an hour so um let me start this process first we want the cleanest middle part we've ever seen so let's do that questionable thing okay perfect so i obviously do one side at a time i don't like to overwhelm myself um I'll just put some gel on this side just to make sure those flyaways don't get in my way. And then we clip this side up. Real snug, perfect. Okay, so then you comb, you make sure this side is combed out pretty good. And then when we reach the back, um, because you know they go back when you reach the back I am going to continue to do braids so it'll all come together okay so we got our parts okay because we're doing two sections not three shall um, I'm gonna put some hair gel so that and honestly I think I'm going to lay some baby hairs first because I don't want to mistakenly put some baby hairs in a rubber band and then it's giving receding it's giving <laughs> no baby hairs so all these baby hairs we will lay those first just to get them out of our way with hair gel on your brush just kind of bring them to the front and let me say this baby hairs are short hairs that kind of don't grow like these this is like the longest they'll probably get um <laughs> know the difference between baby and adult please Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, so I don't really know how many rubber bands I'll need, but this is this is a pretty short area, so I'm gonna say like three or four for this for this area. And again, I'm doing the white because I feel like it'll be a cute little addition to this here. So cute. So let me show you how easy this is. You take a part. Doesn't have to be super thick. Doesn't have to be super thin. Just depends on your preference. You can do really thin parts and add more rubber bands. You can do really thick parts and add less rubber bands. It's totally up to you. Just make sure those parts are crisp. That is the whole point of any rubber band style. Crisp parting, okay? Okay, okay. Now, this is what you do. Little tiny bit of hair gel. You take your rubber band of choice. 
Why am I mad at y'all? <laughs> and please, good rubber bands, because if you do them too tight, they will pop. Okay. Um, make sure that other hair is out the way. See, a fly away already tried to get me. Pin it. There you go. Okay, it's out the way. Center it. Center it. Okay, grab that hair and center it. Wherever you want that rubber band to lay, you put it there, okay? And you only wrap it around a few times. You don't want it to pop. Like I said, it will pop. <laughs> I've been there before. I've had like the middle ones pop after I've done like the front ones and had to literally start all the way over. So don't do too many, just enough to where the rubber band isn't loose anymore. Okay, one more and I should be good. Next, you do another part, okay? You do another part. We'll probably only do three on this because this um, isn't the biggest area. Make sure that part is perfect. Don't forget behind your ears, ladies. You will regret it. Put this back for the time being. Now, this is what you do. This part can be a little tricky if you don't grab the second piece tight enough. Okay, put some hair gel. Okay, put some hair gel. This is the connecting part. Okay, let me let me angle myself so you can see. Make sure you got the rubber band ready. This is what you do. Okay. A little more hair gel on the side. You grab it as tight as you can, and you add the other rubber band. Grab it to where your fingers are as close to your scalp as possible. Take that rubber band and connect, okay? Bring that rubber band as close to your scalp as you can. It might come up a little bit, so make sure you stay at the bottom. And you bring it down, back down to the scalp. And obviously you can tighten it a little once you're done, but not too much. Again, you don't want the rubber band to break. And that's it. Literally, that's it. That's how you do any rubber band hairstyle. That's how you connect the two pieces. Okay, one more after this. Please don't break. And that's it. Okay. Move that down and only a tiny bit squeeze. You don't want that to break. And look at that. Now with better gel and you know shorter nails, it'll be a lot cleaner, but that is how you connect the bands, okay? That's it. <laughs> it's not that hard, okay? It ain't that hard, babe. So I'll do this last one and come back. All right, so the third one is in. And like I said, I want this to continue into also a braid. So you got your little piece of hair that you'll add so that it's the same length. Add a little bit of hair gel just so that it's really neat. Separate those parts. Now, this might be a little harder than just doing um, knotless or box, box braid because you're not starting at the scalp. So just take your time. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Um, just take your time with this part. Doesn't have to be perfect. Take those three pieces, grab that last piece, and make sure you push it up as far as you can to the beginning of that hair. And there you go. Because I wanted this hairstyle to be cohesive. Like imagine if I just left that hair out, it probably wouldn't look good, you know, because my hair is obviously shorter than the braids that I've been doing. Um, so you really just want it all to come together. So yeah. Right, yeah. So I'm about to go to sleep and I'll finish everything tomorrow, but this is how the front turned out. So cute. And then you already seen the back. Um, and then when I bring them to the front, this is kind of how they are. 
So yeah, tomorrow we'll do the hot water. We'll take those rubber bands off. We'll lay those baby hairs. And she'll be super cute, okay? All right, good night. Morning, y'all. So just put a pot on that's big enough to fit all of my braids in it. Um, and as soon as it starts to boil, I'm going to take um, the rubber bands out and then continue to braid them all the way down to the very ends. So that way, when you put it in the water, it'll hold that braid because otherwise it'll look a little crazy. And then after that, and mind you, have a towel on standby because you'll have to pat it dry. Um, and after that, we'll do the baby hairs and then she's done. But this is what it looks like after we slept in it. That's why I wrap it up because you want it to look crisp. Okay, look at that. Gorgeous. All right, so all the ends are braided to my best ability with these nails. So, turn that off. If you have a fucking metal one like me, you'll need a towel so you can touch it. So I just move it a little closer and then literally you just dip. That's it. As far as you can go, obviously. And I low-key want to switch to the other side so I can... Don't burn yourself. Okay, please do not burn yourself. Dip it as far as you want to go, but try to avoid your natural hair, obviously. Just pat it. Don't rub it. Do not rub it. Okay. Oh, I had a rubber band left. No. Well, here, it'll be easier to take off now that it's all... I thought I got all of them, but I definitely have one left. There we go. And if you did that, I mean, there's literally still water in there that is hot. So you can literally just dip it back in, um, which I'm about to. But yeah, that's it for the ends. Like, it doesn't have to be super boiling. Um, and you can take it off the stove, too, if you want to get more of it. But please, please, please just be careful. Please just be careful. So it literally just, sorry, it literally just sealed the end. The end is sealed. It's not going anywhere. So, boom. That's all you gotta do. And then, like I said, just the baby hairs, but yeah. All right, so I just got out of the shower, so now we can finalize this tutorial with these baby hairs. So the same gel I used. And I'm also gonna show you guys the hair oil I put on my scalp while I have um, natural styles in. And start with the bottom, like near your ear. So that way the rest don't get messed up in the process. And then for the longer ones, you can do like some cute swoops. I see girls do like cute little hearts and stuff, depending on like how long, I guess, your adult hairs are. Um, my baby hairs aren't super, super long, thankfully. So we don't really do too much with them. And this is how much gel I really need. I really don't need much. I literally could do this with water as well. My hair just loves any type of moisture. I probably need a protein treatment or something, but um, yeah, so sometimes I'll do like a swoop this way just to like spice it up. But yeah, um, that was the whole tutorial, y'all. You know, we did the braids in the back, we did the rubber bands in the front, and we finished off with the baby hairs. Okay. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Reaper's hair bottom. All right, so let me show you the oil. This one is Wild Growth Hair Oil, hairgrowfast.com. Um, the bottle's nearly empty, okay? I use this a lot. And I also put straight rosemary. I know a lot of girlies, they'll buy rosemary products that are like 
you know, rosemary something, rosemary something, um, straight rosemary. <laughs> I might dilute it a little bit with water, but I don't see the point of buying a rosemary with other stuff in it. Like you might as well just go straight to the source. Okay, so just these two. Y'all have seen my hair growth on Snapchat. So I'm not steering you wrong with these, but I will say not everything works for everyone. Okay, please keep that in mind. What works for me might not work for you. Okay, um, but yeah. So for the next two weeks, I'll do like two, two times a week. I did it last night, which was Saturday night. So I'll do it again, probably like a Wednesday and then the next week. So two times a week, you could do it every single night if you want. Okay, but it's totally up to you. Um, but yeah, that's it. Cute little hairstyle for the next two weeks so that I don't have to do my hair. <laughs> Thank God. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Please go do it yourself. Try it. If I can do it with these claws, so can you. Okay? Thanks for watching though, guys. Till next time.